And I remember once when I was really sick, there were a couple of times I couldn't even put on worship music <clears throat> because it made me too upset, because it undoes me. <laughs> so it may, and I felt like I couldn't scramble myself back, you know, but then there were other times where I needed, you know, I remember my girlfriend jumped into bed with me one day and put on You Make Me Brave. And it was a new song then, and she's played it over and over and over, getting ready for my last chemo, and I just didn't think I could do it. Just didn't think so. And she's like, well, you're going to do it, so <laughs> I'm coming in with you, and we're going to listen to this song until you can get up and get in there. But you can get lost in your own thoughts, in your own mud. <laughs> and, and you know, the Bible, even in the Psalms, I think it's you know over 30 times just in the Psalms alone, we're asked to sing a new song, to bring a song, you know, to declutter your mind, to lift your spirit man, to get a song of faith out of you that announces greater is he that is living in me than he that is in the world. You know, that's the power of a song.